before you even head out to a big franchise name Western wear store, consider going independent, family owned place first. Yeah, I got five reasons why you might want to shop small and why they are sometimes, sometimes better than those big franchise Western stores. So let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya And then I'll be on my way All right, so I've been all over the country to so many different Western wear stores all across the nation. I've done videos, quick impressions in some of these small Western wear stores. And let me tell you, I have learned so much from these people and they are so nice, okay? Now I'm gonna give you the first reason why you might want to think about heading to a small shop, small Western wear store before hitting up Cavender's boot barn shep any of these other big places big franchise names okay number one is that most times these small family shops are gonna give you the attention that you need when buying boots sean from circle b western wear is the perfect example okay when you walk in there it's already like you've been there before hey how you doing right? Can I help you find anything? He's so nice and pretty much every other small store out there has really nice people working there. Probably because they also own it and th their interest in making a living has to do directly with how well the store does, right? Which leads me to my second point because a lot of times they know the most about fit. Like I said, they own the store. They're not just working there for minimum wage. I got nothing against folks who are working at Boot Barn for minimum wage, but they've been in it longer. They know the tricks, right? My example from this is Davis Trailer World, right? Where I got my first boots. And they're out by the back door today because I was wearing them earlier, so I can't show them in this video. But Davis Trailer World, was awesome. Alex Kruder, he's on the stream. We've been to, to Davis Trailer Worlds together several times and Miss Davis is awesome, right? She knows her stuff and I was there so frequently that she started to like take me under her wing and teach me about fit while I brought my friends there. She would ask me, you know, Jeremiah, how do you think that boot fits? And I'd say, well, Miss Davis, it looks a little bit sloppy. You know, she might want to try a different size. And she'd be like, yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking too. She would teach me about fit. And that goes back to my first point is that they'll take the time with you, not only to help you find the right fit, but to also educate you so you are a more educated customer. And that's what we all need. We all need to be more educated customers, especially when it comes to boots, something that is supposed to last decades, years, decades, maybe an entire life that you could pass down to somebody else in your family. I mean, that's what you want. So I love the fact that small shops know so much about boots and are willing to share their knowledge with you, being patient in that you might not know much, but they want to help you because boots are an extremely personal thing that need to feel right in order to be comfortable. On to my third point of why you should give small shops a look before heading to the big franchise joints is that they carry different styles and brands. That's number three. They stock different toe shapes a lot of the times, right? I mean, I know some of you folks out there have complained to me in the comments section that when you go to those big franchise joints, all they have are the double stitched welt wide square toes. And it's just like, this is kind of boring. Let me see what else you got. Well, those small shops, those family run joints, they have lots of different styles. A lot of the small shops carry smaller brands. Hondo is the perfect example. Boot Barn, Cavenders, they don't usually carry Hondos just because they're such a small shop and they can't keep up with the amount of boots that some of these big franchise places need to put on their shelves. So they then sell to the family owned small shops here and there. So when you go to those places, you are then 
finding brands that you usually wouldn't find at other franchise joints. Huge value. Number four was sometimes they do carry the new old stocks like Circle B Western Wear with the Tony Llama Bone Colored Lizard. This is a discontinued. This is one of those new old stocks that are still new in their store, but discontinued everywhere else in the nation, right? This is a hard boot to find, except when you go to circlebwesternwear.com. Sometimes you will find them cheap too, because they're on clearance, because that store knows they're discontinued, they know that they're having a little trouble selling them. So you could find them drastically reduced and end up getting a better boot at a better price from a family owned shop. And number five, you're supporting local, right? You know where your money is going. You're looking at the person who's going to end up with it, right? <laughs> You're just, it's not going to go up the chain into the CEO and all this stuff. Like it's going to end at that person, which is really cool. And the more that you know about making a difference and how we spend, it's nice to know where you get your boots from. When you go to a small shop, helping them stay around like we need to. We need these small shops, guys. We need them. And it's so much fun visiting them. I would hate to see them disappear. So those are my five reasons why you should just give the small shops a look before you go to some of those bigger franchise joints. What do you guys think? Did I miss anything? Is there anything else that you like about the smaller shops that you don't quite like about the franchise spots or do you like the franchise spots more because of different reasons that you can't get from the smaller shops you know definitely they are going to have a lot more space for brands and a lot more different kinds of uh brands on the shelf but i like the the rarity the the styles and the stocks that they have at some of the small shops so that's why I like to hit up the franchise places second. Evelyn says I nailed it. Thank you, Evelyn. <laughs> what else? What else do you guys got for me? What do you like about the small shops? Oh, Alan, the smell of leather in the small shops. So true. You walk into those and it's just like a high. Even if you weren't planning on getting a pair of boots, you walk in there, it's just dangerous. It's dangerous walking in a boot store like that. I've walked into Davis Trailer World not planning on getting a pair of boots, and I ended up walking out spending $500. <laughs> I'm sure some of you have been in the same position. Some of these small shops have exclusive models as well, Rodrigo. That's a great point. You go to some of these small family-run spots, and they have their own boots that they have on the shelf. When I was at Al's Bootery and Repair Shop, they had special edition Tony Llamas that were just made for them. They had special edition Nakonas. So did Beth West in Snohomish, Washington. A lot of places do that with Anderson Bean and Olathe and uh, Finolio. A lot of these places make their own designs and then stock their shelves. And that's the only place where you can find them. That is a great point, Rodrigo. Thanks for sharing that. Staying tall. Support small, vote with your cash so these small shops can last. Stand tall, shop small. <laughs> yeah, shop small, y'all. <laughs> all right, all right. 